Shout out to the thinking class. We are here. This is Lawrence D. Adams. When spirituality and the game collides, you have the thinking class. And if you don't get it, it is your own as fault. Today, we got our special guest, Warren B. Pimpcod, and he's going to be talking about the pimp's golden rule. And already the money has already showed up before the knowledge begins to flow. Salute to Jonathan W. Salute to LDA has been busy working at the catch up the playback. You got to get the replay. You got to catch yesterday. It was on fire. I dropped some knowledge that only I got to chop it up. That's all I got to say, because it was so it was so intense. So you don't want to miss today. Shout out to everybody in the thinking class. He is in the back. He's coming up. I want to make sure we get the numbers up. Let me know if you're ready for a pimp. God Warren B to come up. So I can put my new thing up. You can't. You can't make this up. Can't make this up. You can't make this up. He's in the background. Let me get. Let me get. Let me get. Put a number five in the. I need everybody who's watching to put a number five in the chat room. You want Warren B. Pimp God to come up, and we're gonna chop it up. Put that number five in the back of the in the chat room. 
Put the number five. Five. Put the number five in there. It will make sense later on. There we go. Put the five in there. Put the number five in the chat room. Let me get one more number five. We're going to bring... No, bring it. No, I didn't say we was ready. You got to follow directions. If you're going to follow the pimp's rules, you got to follow the pimp's directions. What did he, What did I say? Put a number five in the chat room. That's all I ask. See, that's how it... Warren, I know you see me. They can't... They, 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 if they can't follow the first directions, how are they going to follow the next directions? I'm just saying, but I'm, you know, I'm just talking a number five. That's all you got to do. I ain't asked you to pitch your mama's number, social security number, or your, where your granny lived at. Just put a number five in the chat room. But we're going to start this broadcast. Are you ready for them to come up? The man himself, Pimp God. Are you ready, sir? I can see you. They can't see you. All right, let's bring them up. Sir, how you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. Can you hear me all right? I hear you good. I'm going to drop the music. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What's going on? How are you, sir? I'm good, bro. Everything's cool. It's funny because um, I just got off of a, a consultation call. Uh -huh. So I kind of got behind schedule. I had just gotten off of one. So, you know, had to recalibrate and get ready for this. So it's cool. Oh, that's good. That's what's up, man. Man, it's, it's been a, um, I'm getting a feedback. I'm not sure if it was you or me. Okay. Let me, let me make sure it's, <clears throat> make sure it's not me. Make sure everything is turned down on my end. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a feedback. <clears throat> uh oh. Huh. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Feedback. There you go. Okay, so, oh boy, let's see something. While you get together, we let the music play. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, the, you may put in headphones, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the headphones. Because I'm getting feedback. Okay. comes back, just get ready because you know it's going to be good. What I'll do is One second, everybody, we get you. together. Tell me what you want, babe, and come get it. Tell me what you want, babe. Get it. I got this here. Man, don't forget it. Babe, you'll get it. One second as we get come back up. Get ready. Shout out to Jonathan W who already has song into the game. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. One second as the video gets here, we get ready. Don't worry, he's coming back. Game gonna be so tight. Shout out to AB, appreciate you, bro. My man, Alpha Villain, all the way down to Florida. Salute LTA, Pimp God. We need this game. You can't make this up. What? You can't make this up. Can't make it up. 
can't make this up. Shout out to Alpha Villain for throwing that 25 bones on this game. He's coming back. Don't worry. He's coming back. We're going to drop this ism on you. You know it's going to be tight when the things like this is going, going right. AV in the house. Must respect. Follow his channel. Follow him on Instagram. This guy is doing big things. Do you hear me? Big things. Shout out to Alpha Villain. Real true brother. He helped me in the background. I appreciate him. <laughs> Help me in the background. So I appreciate Alpha Villain. The man. Good game he has. So wait a minute for us. What Pimp God gets his stuff together. And this game's gonna be so tight. So all the people in the thinking class, shout out to you. This is where spirituality and the game collides. You got the thinking class, and Pimp God be right back. Echo in his um. So he should be right back up. Shout out to Alpha Villain. I appreciate that. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it going. If you're ready for the game, that's what's going to be going to be told today. That should be sold. Let me know in the chat room. He's coming back. Yes, he is. He was just here. This is what happened. Technology does not stop you. Uh oh, my man Jano is in the place to be. Y'all know what's going on, bro. This is what we'll do. Wait for what's going on, Sharice? What's going on, Sigma? Did I true savage? We wait for him to come back up. There we go. There we go. Let's try this again. One, two. Journey, I'll be your fantasy. I got you. Right. Tell me what you want, babe. Okay. And come get it. That's better. Tell me what you want, babe. All right. Is that all right? Yeah, that's good. All right. Keep loud and clear. Okay, cool. You can't make this up. All right, that's what's up. Okay. Good. Sound good. So let's go. So today we're talking about. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Okay, it's a delay. The um the pimp the pimps the pimps golden rule. So we talked about a little bit prior to this about a week ago or so, and we actually put this into play, not knowing that I was doing a series on uh, for three weeks on fatherhood in the game. So when you came and dropped, mm -hmm. which is hey, let me drop this down on you on what I want to share. So I'm going to give the floor to yeah. you for you to to dive into what is the pimps golden rule because it ties into what we've been talking about this past three weeks to you okay. sir the, the, okay so uh can you hear me okay okay cool the, the the number one key rule uh for any pimp is um the ability to be alone mm. and a lot and a lot of people have um an issue with that you know, um, there are a lot of people who get in relationships simply because they don't like laying in the bed by themselves. A lot of women do that too. They're not used to being alone. And um, for men, it's, it's, it's very important that we learn how to be alone because we're 80% logic. And so when we make decisions, we have to make decisions from logic, not emotion, which means we got to think this thing through. We got to process it, you know, and at the highest level, you have to weigh situations through your spiritual man or your, your higher self, your higher spiritual self. And that's really key. So but you have to be alone. And so Jim Rohn. Um, Jim Rohn said that what a man has to do sometimes is go to a closet, right? Go into that closet and shut the door behind him. And so that's, that's really key that a man learns how to be alone and, and to, to process information and, and also situations that you're in, even in terms of relationships. Should you 
stay in this relationship? Should you um, should you give it some space? You know, uh, do you have should you give her one last warning? You know what I mean? Um, it's unfortunate, too, in, in, in our relationships in, in this country. In order to have a long term relationship with I'm not saying all, but most black women, you got to break up with them a bunch of times. Mm. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just because it's just they weren't cultivated to really submit, not to us. So you almost have to keep reiterating that you're serious about your position. And a lot of times that's why we have to go through the, the, the stuff that we have to go through. But what to do in those situations is going to require you time by yourself. So, so, so time by ourselves cultivates a sense of what inside of a man? Um, a sense of, okay, there's a phrase that was in the movie, uh, The Thomas Crown Affair. Trust myself implicitly. Mm, okay. And the man has to learn how to tr trust himself implicitly. Get to that point in his life where as long as he's tapped into the God within him, like Mary Mary said, it's the God in me. When you tap into that, you have no doubts about the information that you're receiving. You may have never read a book on it before. A lot of information that I get from the, is validated by some book or some uh, uh, expert on the subject that I never heard of before. And so once I go in and I get it, then I'll come across a book or across somebody that, that is expert in it, and they'll say the same thing. And it'll give me that insight. It's a man has to learn to trust himself, really trust himself. And, think, that, and that's what being alone helps you to do. I think that's a, that's you know, a good So when you know you're giving her the right information, if she's not acquiescing to what you're saying, then she's probably not ready. You're probably I think not ready. I think that's a good point right there. I think a lot of men do not, or do not trust who they are by themselves. So when they come with a woman or come with a situation, they can't trust that they would do the right thing in the situation because they never trusted themselves. Okay, hold on for a second. I can't hear you now. I don't know what's happening. Can you still hear me? Okay, okay. So, all right, did you just ask me a question? No, I made a statement, but I'm going to make sure everything is on. Right now, for some reason, I can't hear you. All right, uh, popped up, pop off, and then pop back on. Pop I can't off. hear you. Let's see. My mic is on. Mic. Can you hear me? Hmm. Pop off and pop back on. Let me do this to you. Let's play the music right quick while you come back on. See what happens. Can you can't hear me? Look at what you got, man. Don't forget it. I don't know, fam. Which can you can you hear me? Let me see. Okay, I'm on two. Can you hear me on this one? All right, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, I don't know. Then I'm on the phone I started with, so I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, very good. There, that's, that's even better. Okay, that's what's up. So I was saying is, unless when a man trusts himself alone, then yeah. it's easier for him to trust when he's with a woman and when he's in a situation because he learned how to trust himself while he was by himself. Yes, that's the key. And um, sometimes things that you get from your higher self, um, it might not make sense to you. The logic of it, it might not make sense, but you have to trust it because I've found that it's always right. It's never wrong. 
You mm. know what I mean? So, yeah. So that's really key that we have to learn how to do that. Plus, why should a woman follow you if you don't have connection to your own inner GPS system? Why should she follow you? You just like her. What's the difference? So, you know, you it's got to be something. In other words, if you're traveling through darkness, right, you know, turn on the lights. And that's what a man is supposed to be. He's supposed to represent the light. He's supposed to represent, um, because that's what happens anyway when you give a woman knowledge. You're enlightening her. So you're supposed to lighten the path. She's supposed to be able to trust you for that. You know, and here's my thing to women. If you don't trust me, don't choose me. Stop, stop, stop right there. Please put that in the chat room. If you don't trust me, don't choose me. Let, let's, get, let's let that soak in because that's good. <laughs> if yeah. you don't trust me, don't choose me. Put that in the chat room, everybody, because I know people are going to go back and <clears throat> watch this video. If yeah. you don't trust me, don't choose don't. me. That's right. Put it in the chat room. Let's get these. Let's get that. Let's get that chat room lit up with that statement right there. Because that's let that soak in. Because I think a lot of guys miss that, and a lot of women miss. Because we have a lot of women who watch. If you yeah. don't trust me, don't choose me. Yep. Yep. There we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's right. That's real. That's real. That's real. Because we have we have a calling on our lives, you know, and. Um, Sometimes, because there's the other thing about protection. They always talk about a man protecting a woman. His protection also comes by way of his warning. It don't have to be, I'm, I'm breaking out with my nine, like, you know, who fucking with you. Sometimes the, the, the protection is, I don't trust your friend and I don't want you hanging with her. Or I don't want you to go to this situation. Aaliyah died on that plane, but she didn't want to get on it. She mm -hmm. was adamant about not getting on it. And from my understanding, she had a very bad headache. They, I think from my understanding, she took a sleeping pill or something. She fell asleep. They carried her on the plane that she died on. She wasn't cognizant. But her inner self was probably like, no, don't do it. We got to trust ourselves. Even if your inner self says, no, don't roll up your sleeve and take that vaccine. Oops, I guess I wasn't supposed to say that. But I'm just saying, whatever your guidance is, trust it. You don't, you don't have to argue with nobody else. That's for you. You know, but we have to learn how to trust ourselves. In all important matters, our higher self is trying to guide us anyway. So, yeah. mm -hmm. I think that's key because I think a lot of people do not, they, they're looking for, well, they don't trust me. I don't know why nobody trusts me. Mm -hmm. it's because you never first took the time to trust your own self. That's key. That's key. That's key. And then here's my thing, too. If I trust myself and I manifest many great things, but you didn't trust me in the process, I don't really know how I feel about letting you come in later and enjoy the the the, the, the you know the 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 fruits. You, you ain't helped me plant nothing. You see what I'm saying? So, you know. Let's go back to that phrase. If you don't trust me, don't choose me. Because um, I am in this position to lead. You know, and on the scale of understanding, emotion, there's first physical. That's the lowest. Above that is emotion. Above that is intelligence. And above that is emotional intelligence. And a lot of women think that emotional intelligence is the same thing as emotion. It's not. 
Your emotional intelligence is literally your God voice within you. They ain't got nothing to do with emotion. Now, the doorway to it might be it is emotion in a man. That's the doorway to it. Mm -hmm. In a woman, it's logic. Say that again. Say that in again. A in a woman, the doorway to her God consciousness is logic. In a man, the doorway to his God consciousness is emotion. But emotion is not the same thing as emotional intelligence. It's the doorway. So Morpheus said, I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to open it. So we have to become acquainted with our higher self and do that work. You know, we got to find that door. You know, um, the third eye. Uh, in parts of Africa, they call the third eye the doorway. In India, they call it the third eye. You know what I'm saying? But it's still talking about um, a connection to, you know, what Deepak Chopra calls pure potentiality, things yeah. of that nature. Uh -huh. yeah. So, yeah. So I, th I think, and that's to the doorway into um, those different levels and on understanding um Emotional intelligence only can be cultivated when you when you do the first pimp rule is when you by yourself. You got to be by yourself because forever we came up in the church. And what we always heard in the church is that God speaks to you in a still, small voice. That's what we heard. But nobody ever told us what that is. You know what I'm saying? Um, meditation means to get to know that's what it means and so when you quiet yourself which means there's nobody around right and you tap into that inner guidance that inner voice that inner self you know um that's when the magic happens that's when you know that higher consciousness takes place you know um Logic is above emotion, but emotional intelligence is superior to logic. And I, I think that's that's vitally important because now how does this play in to how a pimp mm -hmm. would take this information and apply it to what you're saying? Because inside of a man, inside of a man is his true bottom bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. You can't make this up. Say that again. <laughs> Inside of a man is his true bottom bitch. And your true bottom bitch is your anima. Your true bottom bitch is your inner feminine. So when I'm faced with an issue with a female or business job, situation, whatever the case, investment. My inner feminine or my bottom bitch is saying yes or no in whatever the situation is. So regardless of what my outer bottom bitch is saying, right? Sometimes women challenge you just to see what you're going to do. And sometimes your inner bottom bitch, your inner bottom bitch, will tell you to in front of all of your hoes, tell that bitch to gather all of her belongings so you can drive her to the train station to drop her ass off and send her on the next thing smoking. Now, she might be your main money maker. But your inner anima, your inner feminine knows that this is probably a shit test anyway. What you have to show her is that you're serious about the principles that you stand on. And how you show her is your willingness to let that ass go. That's key game. Stop right there. That, yeah. You said that's key game right there. Your willingness 
to let her go. How many of you in the chat room? Because we got some people, we got a lot of people watching. How many of you are really willing to let her go? Her does not also does not mean does doesn't doesn't just mean just a girl. It can be a situation, it could be a problem, it can be whatever. Are you willing to let her go? Right. So I don't That's want you to think, oh, he, he's he's massaging, he's talking about women. No, we we talking about the we talking about the woman, but it can be a situation that you just can't let go. Right. It could be a job. You know, Robert Kiyosaki was talking about the last check that he got when he worked at Xerox. He was and he was saying that it was it was a check for thirty thousand dollars. And he told a co-worker that he was going to take that check and go into business, that he was going to quit with that check. And the co-worker told him that you're going to do exactly what I did. I'm, he said, you're going to take that money and you're going to go out on your own and then you're going to fail and come back. Robert Kiyosaki said, you failed and came back. Guess what Robert told him? What did he say? He said, I'm going to fail. Yes. And I'm never coming back. <laughs> That's a whole nother level. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this stuff. That's it. So that's the key is you're going to make mistakes. You're going to fail. But I'm going to fail, but I'm never coming back. I'm burning this shit behind me. Ain't no, I can't swim back. So sometimes you have to do that in life. I did that when I moved to the DMV from Cleveland. Fam, I was sitting in the library. You know which one. I was I was in the library downtown. I know which one. The one on the corner. The yep. one on the very corner. Mm -hmm. Right across from the pizza shop. From Guy's Pizza. Yes. I was sitting in the library downtown. And I was on, I think, the fifth floor. It might be the business floor section. It might be four or five. Mm-hmm. And I was on the business floor and I had just finished an audio book. Okay. And my inner anima said to me, clear as day, it's time for you to go to D.C. Wow. This happened to me. Mm. So guess what I did? What you do? I got on my phone and I booked a ticket, RTA, to D.C., one way and I left that night wow it was about 4 30 I booked it I think it was leaving out around 11 30. so you went to Greyhound I went to Greyhound that, you know, that's, that's, a, you know wow. that's in walking distance from where that library is yeah it is it is it is it's, it's in walking distance so I got on the I got on the bus I went to a friend's house and I dropped off the stuff that I wasn't going to bring. And I said, I need you to hold this for me. And I went and I went to the Greyhound and I got on that thing. I never looked back since. Wow. So when you were on the Greyhound and yeah. you, you said I, you heard this message clear as day, what was going through your mind as you were going, as the wheels were turning down the highway? Trust. Cause I know he got me. Come on, man. Trust. Trust. Faith without works is what? Dead. Dead. So I'm like, you telling me to go for a reason. I trust it. So as soon as I got to DC, I had lived here before, but I forgot how to use the trains. So when I got off the, uh, when I went to the train station, Check this out. I walked up to the machine where you get your, uh, where you pay for your fare, and I'm and I'm standing at the machine now in Cleveland. You buy a, a ticket, you ride that joint all day, all day, all day. Trains, bus, back, forth, front, back. You could do it all day. Not here. It's way more expensive here. Okay. You, okay. Might, go, you might go from one place to another one way, and that was five dollars. It ain't like that here. It's way more expensive. Okay. Okay. So you know, you know. So 
I went to the to the to the machine immediately. I'm looking at the machine. I'm trying to figure out what to do. A lady walks up next to me. This happened immediately. She said, I said, excuse me, ma'am. I said, how do you use this? Um, I got, you know, I'm trying to get a pass. Can you show me how to use this? She said, you got to have a card. It's a plastic card that you use. And you just keep loading it and loading it. I said, okay, well, where do I get the cards at? She had two of them in her hand and she gave me one of them. She said, you take this one. That one had $3 on it. I'm new in town. She showed me how to load it. I put about 10 I think I put $20 on it or something. And I said, you know, and so she showed in boom. So I was trying to figure out how to get to um, the Howard University, um, that McDonald's over there on Georgia Avenue across from Howard University. Cause I didn't know DC. So, but I knew, I know Georgia Avenue. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go there, and from there, I'll just sort of navigate my way around and figure out what I'm going to do. So I go down to the train, and I'm trying to figure out how to go. There was a big, like an older grandmother, black lady, and I asked her, I said, excuse me, ma'am, I'm, I'm trying to get to uh, that McDonald's over there across from Howard University. I'm trying to go over there. So... You know what she said to me? What Just like said. the old grandmother. She said, come on. <laughs> so, I was like, so I'm like, okay. So I follow her. She was heading that direction. You can't make this up. Can't make it up. So I got on the train. She showed me where to go. And I got off. And one thing led to another. So everybody knows that I'm partnered up with Dr. E. Harlan Scott who was a successful hairstylist in the DMV. So I didn't know him. I didn't know anybody. So about maybe a week later, maybe three days later or something, I did a video in front of Howard University. And I had, I had the sign of Howard behind me. And I did this video and I uploaded it. So I get this email from this dude named Dr. E. Harlan Scott. I didn't know who he was. He said, dude, he said, are you in D.C.? I said, yeah, I just moved here. I said, I don't, you know, I'm staying in a shelter. I said, and I don't, I don't, you know, I said, I just moved here. He said, dude, he said, I am well connected here. And he said, we need to hook up. He, he was like, I've been following for about a year and a half. So, he whoa, was whoa, whoa. to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Let's, let's slow this down. You yep. upload Born B, Pimp Guy, up yep. says, you know what? I feel like I'm going to upload a video in front of the, in front of the Howard University sign because yep. I'm here. I'm here. You, you get an email. Yep. And he says, What? You're he said, following you. Yes. He said, first, his first question was, are you here? And I was like, yeah, because he knew I was from Cleveland. He said, man, I've been following you for a year and a half. He said, we got a link. He said, man, I am well connected. I'm a successful beautician here. You know, he said, we got a, we got a link. So I think about two days went by. That might be the Pisces in me. I don't know what it is, but whoa, whoa, whoa! You Pisces too? I'm, yeah, right. you, you Pisces? Yeah, dude. March 18th. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't catch when we was in school together. When your birthday? Yeah. I'm t the March 12th. That makes sense. March 12th. It makes sense. Yeah, March 12th. So, <laughs> so he hit me up. He hit me up like two days later and he was like, dude, nigga, I told you that we need the link. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'll, I'll hit you up. And once we linked up, I never looked back. I never wow. Looked back. You know what I'm saying? And I was actually, so what we used to do, we used to come out to Tyson. 
because I would leave the shelter, go to his shop in Silver Spring. And then we would like work on stuff together because both of us are creative people. We both got our own fashion lines. We were very similar. It was like the brother, but a spiritual brother that I never had. Both heterosexual, you dig? Uh -huh. And love women, you know what I'm saying? But we had a lot in common. So I would come out there and then we would chop it up. And then from there, like if I had to make move or something like that. But at night, I'd leave at a certain time. And I go back to because you had to be like back by like 530 in order to get in line to get a bed. So. Maybe about a month. After being here. He was like, look. I don't want you in that shelter anymore. He said, when I close down my shop at night. You stay in the shop. I don't want you there no more. Yep. So I stayed in the shop. And what we used to do for, for motivation, we would get on the train and come out to Tyson because we liked the vibration because there's wealth out here. At the time, it was the second richest county in the United States. Right now, I think it's the seventh but it's still in the top 10 in the US. So we would come out here just for the vibration because we all, we both saw ourselves as like highfalutin, like fly, you know what I'm saying? Within a little over a year, I was living out here. Say that, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Let's, let, I want everybody to get this because this ties into the pimp's golden rule. This ties into what we've been talking about, the fatherhood in the gang. This all ties in because you made a choice at the Cleveland Library, downtown yes. Guy's Pizza to get yes. your ASS on a Greyhound, to go to the DMV. Yep. And actually, within a year, you went to go, let me make, make people understand this, you went to go feel the vibration of a wealthy area. Yep. And you became full of the consciousness. Let me say, my, my grandfather would say, you became full, Reverend Ike, you, was, you became full of the feeling. You know, what <laughs> Ike would say, full of the feeling, brother, because you can't lose. That's right. That's right. So uh, about a little over a year, we had an apartment out here. I've been out here over two years now. See what I'm saying? Just because I trusted myself. That's why I said a man's bottom bitch is his inner anima, his inner feminine. His inner feminine is really it's not that it's feminine, but it's the opposite of your energy, which is masculine. Because God doesn't do anything without order. So the opposite of myself would be feminine. So I have to tap into my inner feminine in order for balance to take place, counterbalance. See what I'm saying? And that's why when I do consultations with people, I tell brothers, I am not in my Warren B pimp God. I'm not in that. I'm not in that frame of mind. I'm actually in my feminine principle. I'm in my passive principle. So the same way my inner self told me it's time to go to DC. What I give people is coming through me, not from me. Yeah. Yep. And so that's that's and so that's that's the whole key. One thing led to another. So, you know, um, when I was in the shelter, I wasn't I was I wasn't in the shelter long. I was in the shelter maybe a month, maybe a month and a half at the most. And after that, from then on, I was I stayed in the um in the hair salon, you know what I'm saying, which was in a you know nice area in Silver Spring. And then from Silver Spring, um, we ended up getting an apartment um, out here in Tyson's. And now we 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 both balling. We both doing major things. 
You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff that I want to talk about that, that that I got going on, but I'm just waiting for the right time. I can't hear you now. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now, yes. So if you, what I was saying, <clears throat> if you never took that time alone at, yes. at the library, like I did, I, I've been in the, I was at that library because I know when I didn't, <laughs> When I was homeless. <laughs> yes. So yes. I spent many times in that in that library reading books, taking notes. Yep. But if you never took that time alone, you would have never made that directional move, lateral or not even a lateral move, make that move to go to DC and for this to completely open up for you. Yep. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It really, really did. And um <laughs> Like, I don't even want to talk too much, but the gist of it is um, it just really opened up. It just really, really opened up. And um, it wasn't the situation where it's like, where you, you know how dudes are like, they'll just move to another place, but they haven't, they didn't plan. I, yeah. was, fo I was following a greater plan. That I wasn't even hip to. Okay. Okay. You see, and that's the part that we have to learn how to trust. Because you can make a plan and have it all out on paper, but you don't know how things are going to unfold. You have no idea. You know, we just have to, to, to trust the process. Right. So yeah. this, this is a good question in the chat room. We're going to still keep the flow going. Can you be, can you ever be too alone? Yes. Yeah, you can be. Um, in other words, <laughs> what if I never answered the email? <laughs> right. You would have been the whole too long. See that see this is what I'm saying. We can play chess in our own understanding. But the master chess player is what we have to trust. Huh? And so that was the point of reconnecting me and 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 and, and putting me on a, a whole nother plane. So the key to success in business or anything is, is, is a mastermind principle, right? You have to have a team. You have to have, and slowly but surely, my team is, is building. Now I'm at a point where people are hitting me up saying, listen, I have a skill set in this. Let's work together. I'm like, okay, let's do it. So all of a sudden, my team is building. So my team went from Dr. E. Harlan Scott to Dr. E. Harlan Scott and Bella Bliss. See, I can't plan that. I couldn't plan a Bella Bliss. You know who Bella Bliss was? She's one of his hair client customers. I couldn't plan that. She came to get her hair done one day. Yes. She came to get her hair done one day and, 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 and check this part out. Check this part out. Guess where she graduated from? Uh-oh. Um, uh -oh. Where she graduated from? Kent State University. Wait, they don't understand. They don't understand Warren B. They don't understand. They don't can't understand. Make this up. Let me, you, let me, let me, let me, let me hit it again. You can't make this up. Let me tell you why Kent State is so important to Warren B and I. <laughs> Let me explain why it's so important so you understand. Let me put my little New York on there. Yeah. Went from Cleveland, went to yeah. the same elementary school. I went to Akron University. A couple 
clicks down the street as Kent State University. Yep. So for him to leave Cleveland, 30 minutes, I think uh, Kent State is about 30 to 45 minutes away from Cleveland to right. get to the DMV and run into someone who graduated from Kent State University. Let me hit the sound again. You can't make this up. Exactly. You can't make this I up. Can't make, she, she, can't, she, she was raised in Ohio. She was born and raised in Ohio. I couldn't make that up. So I'm just saying, you know, and then here's the other thing. We're talking about teens. She went to school for marketing. She's degree. She got a degree in it. Okay, okay. So that's the whole key is that it was it was just one thing leading to another, one thing leading to another. It, but this the key. It would have never happened in Cleveland. No, thank you. It would have never happened in Cleveland. So that's why it's a timing issue. I had to trust that. I had to trust the process because I don't know what the time is. I don't know, you know, how things are supposed to go. I don't know. You know what I mean? And so um, I had to roll, you know what I mean? Because to live out here is expensive. You know what I'm saying? It's expensive to live out here, man. You know what I mean? I'm I'm paying people's mortgage in Cleveland. All right. So, you know, um, but everything is being provided for. Everything is 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 building. It's is and that's why, but here's the thing. When my inner anima said it's time to go to DC, I was by myself. I was alone. And that's what we have to learn how to do is trust ourselves. We got to learn to trust ourselves, you know, in the process of growing. And and I, and just one thing led to another, you know. And see, I, Kent State. Wow, man. She went to Kent State, graduated from Kent State. And, and um, she and here's the other thing. She used to work for Brooks Brothers. Um, actually, they taught her how to actually sew. Like she would actually be the person that would like fill out orders to sew people's clothes for Brooks Brothers. So if I have a fashion line, she already understands that game. You see what I'm saying? I can't make this. I can't make this stuff up. Then, then somebody else hit me up. They was like, "Listen, my skill set is in marketing, mm -hmm. in a, in another capacity." Mm -hmm. So they like, "Hey, I want to help you out. I want to. I want to. Let's build." And I'm like, "Okay, let's do it." So now I got that going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know, it's just we just. I'm just building. It's like one thing leading to another. Because you was able to get a loan. And you able to listen, listen, to exactly. Enter, voice. exactly. And I enter. and I said exactly. that yesterday, not knowing that you were going to say this. We talked about the sound of the father. Wow. So you was able to listen to the sound of the father, which was inside of you, to yes. move in a certain direction. Exactly. And never, 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 never look back since. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like, for instance, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if you can see. Oh, wow. Like, like, right across the street, that's Tyson's, too. I live right across the street from Tyson's, too. Wow. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm just saying it is what it is. I got to go to the, to the, to the back because he's about to uh, work on somebody. But anyway, we still balling. Okay. Yeah, we still balling. I'm gonna come up in here, and chill out. Yeah. So, can you hear me, all right? Sound clear, okay. clear. Okay, that's what's up. So yeah, it was just a process. It was a process of just learning to trust myself, 
being alone. Also, when you think about your life, think about the fact that you are being prepared for something. I grew up an only child. So I spent a lot of time alone, which prepared me to better hear. Because I didn't always have stuff going on around me. I was always by myself. True. So that prepared me to be able to not only hear from my inner self, but also develop a relationship. There's 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 the key right there. It's the, the ability to hear to hear for yourself, but yes. to develop a relationship with your inner self. Yes, exactly. And that's and that was that was really key to to my development. And so, um, when it comes to creativity, right? When I was playing with my toys, I was playing by myself. So when I create a new product, I'm playing. But I'm just playing by myself. You know what I'm saying? So it's my whole life was preparing me for this this position. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely true, man, because I'm thinking about when we were in elementary school, you was you was cool with everybody, but you was pretty much to yourself. I always to myself. Yep, I remember. I remember clear as day. I'm looking right at you, at, right at Euclid Park. I'm <laughs> what's looking right at you. What's interesting though is, throughout my life, even though I was always to myself, right? The most popular people, I always ended up associated with them in a way, even though I was always to myself. I was always known by the popular people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. One of the dudes, you remember Rich, Richie? Richie Wells. Yes. That's my job. Okay. So I'm saying I was always, I was still known. Like I was quiet, but the most popular dudes knew me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always. Richie Wells lived across the street from me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it's funny, I read into him about a couple of years ago. I was at a concert um, actually for Loose Ends at Luke Eastern Park. Yeah. Guess who, guess who show walk up to me? Richie Welch. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying he was one of the most popular uh, kids in the, in the school. Is yeah. that not true? Yeah, that's yeah. true. So um, I've always been associated with the most popular people, even though I was the most quiet. Even though I was the most quiet. Yeah, yeah. And I I, I, I can attest to that, because you know what, like they say, like, oh, hip hop, I was there. You was there. <laughs> I was there, man, I was there. Yep. I was there, clear as yeah. day, walking home, I was there. Yep. So, you know, um, that's the whole thing. And uh, so, um, but I think our life, our lives and our path is designed to prepare us. And so even for people who went through a lot of abuse, understand that even those experiences was designed to, to especially meant to, to develop a certain measure of character in you, you know, and um, either you can become you know, what these experiences was designed to cultivate in you, or you could play the victim. Yeah, you were supposed to be getting sculpted and prepared for a greater work. Say that. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the whole key to it. Because when you said that, man, you're speaking to someone right now. Uh-oh, you're making me tap in. 
Yeah. You're speaking to someone directly who's <laughs> listening to this because you have went through a particular abuse or a situation and you thought it was designed to um, defeat you, but it actually was designed to actually mold you to be the best version of who you are. You took that tool, instead of taking that tool to crucify you, it was the tool to actually to resurrect a better version of who you are. But I'm That's just true. talking. That's true. That's true. Because again, it goes back to that greater chess game. Mm -hmm. Right? That you can't, um, you could never really plan for. You don't know. You know what I mean? That's why trust, trust plays a key role in your development. Mm -hmm. You know, trust plays a key role in that. Yep. So someone, we got another question. I guess they got questions now, which we, which is good because we write at the, um, we have technical difficulties at the beginning. It's a good, Travis, a trusted um, brother of the of the channel. Shout out mm -hmm. to you, Trav. He says, can you describe what, uh, describe ways as universities make people better versus making them victims? Okay. Okay. What's the question again? Can you describe ways adversity adversities make people better versus making them victim? Yeah. Um, let me give you an example. Okay. Um, my father was a natural antagonist. <laughs> and I say natural. He was good at that shit. He was just, he was just good at fucking with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what, that was his, one of his gifts. What it did for me, though, was it made me develop a thick skin. That's why, like, for instance, I've had four channels taken down on YouTube. Really? Four. Four. So... But the thing that my father prepared me for was for the ability to take criticism or somebody not like me or want to cancel me because they don't like what I'm saying or whatever the case may be, right? Um, I'm built for it. You know what I'm saying? Because my father prepared me for it. And I could have, see, one of the things that I learned was this. When I was in, um, I, was, I went to Tri-C for a little bit, you know, uh, you know, what's that? What's that, a junior college? I don't Community know. college, yeah. Community college, yeah. I took up philosophy. And I had a philosophy teacher, a white philosophy teacher. And... Um, it was an interesting situation because I went to the bathroom during recess one particular day and he comes in the bathroom and we ended up having a conversation and it turns out that his father, his white father, was an antagonist like mine. And it just turned out that we just had a similar experience where being around our fathers, it made us nervous. Because dad was always watching and, you know, just always ready to point out if you made a mistake or something like that. He told me something that he passed on to me because he went to therapy. I never went to therapy, but that was my therapy session because I learned this from him, from his sessions in therapy. He said the thing that he learned about his dad was that that's just him. And that whoever he is, he was that before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> so when I go back into all of those stories that my father and my, and my father's brothers told when my father was young, my father would pick on his older brother that he knew could kick his ass, but he would still pick with him. It didn't make sense. Then he would run and try to get away, and then his brother was a track star, so he'd catch his silly ass, and then he'd beat him up or punch him, and he'd be like, oh, but 
that was his spirit. Mm. And so what I learned from my uh, philosophy teacher was a man's story is not him. And that you have to separate what happened to you as your story from you. Okay. They're not the same thing. You see, but your story was designed to develop a certain character in you for not your story, but your mission, that's for your purpose. Huh? So, me. see, and so that's what I learned from my, my, my philosophy teacher. So from that day on, I stopped looking at my father as an antagonist, that, that there was something wrong with me. That's why he was doing it. No, that's just him. He did that to me. He did that to his older brother who used to kick his ass. Because he was just, he grew up, he just had that spirit. You know what I mean? He was a good person, a great person, had a great heart. But that was just part of his characteristic, that he just was fight with folks. You know what I mean? My father used to take his brothers who were smaller than him. They had a hard time adjusting to waking up in the morning. So when they wake up in the morning, they'd be like crying and rubbing their eyes, and, you know, stuff. So my father would grab them in the morning and stand them up on their feet. And they would just be crying because they didn't know what was happening because they was half asleep still. That's he just always was an antagonist. So I learned from my philosophy teacher that that's just him. So when he would say those things like, well, Warren, you know you don't want to get a job, but you don't want to work. No, I work for myself. Right? But I was preparing for this, this process of entrepreneurship, and that's what my whole life was preparing me for. And that's, that's yeah. good, man. That's good you said that, because I think about that when I have to, with the two sons. One son, I am sort of antagonist towards him versus the other son. <laughs> And I know when you hear me call him, he's like, oh, no, what does this crazy man want now? But yeah. I see so much greatness in him that I want to just push him into his what? Who he truly is. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and so I believe that the people that raised us, we may have actually had something to do with it before we were even conceived. That's, uh-oh, uh-oh, come on. That in other words, on a spiritual level, before we were even born, we set, we helped to set the stage that we would need for the work that we would do later within that journey. <laughs> you see, so in other words, I picked my father. There we go. I picked my mother. I picked my family. I picked my experiences because all of that played a role in what I would need to do later. You see? Yeah. That's that's so true because that's funny, man. You all you did not hear none of the broadcast we've been doing for the past three weeks, and you all <laughs> in what we are talking about. Those in the thinking class, let me know in the chat room. It is is Warren B. Pimp got all in the teaching we've been talking about these past three weeks. Awesome. This, he has not heard nothing. I have no. not talked to him about nothing. And he's talking about he's talking about this, and it's so interesting because we talk we talked about the father's voice, the father's um, sound, the father's correction, and the the father's um, that even in what you're saying is how important the father is to what to the child, and versus how how more how important the child is to the father. Yes, yes, because see the thing we have to learn too. Is you know I grew up in the church, you know. Yeah, we and both did. I was a I was a junior deacon. Uh, I was elected to be a junior deacon in my church. Um, and you know that that's true because you know the church I went to, Good yeah, Shepherd Baptist Church. You already know Good Shepherd, right? Good Shepherd. Yeah. So 
Um, I would get sometimes these inspirational move movements within myself to talk to my dad about spiritual things. And my dad would 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 chew my head off. Boy, don't preach to me, boy. I don't really want to. So I'm like, okay, all right, hey, you know. But the thing that we have to learn as fathers and remind ourselves of is that a soul could be older than you can imagine. So we are not in our son's life just to teach them. They're in our lives to teach us stuff too. That's good. That is good, man. Let me let me let me drop a let me drop a pin right there. Because it's interesting. I'm looking at my father right now. He's on the other side. Yeah. He would right. say, he would say, son, what you're saying to me, I didn't know, and you're actually teaching me. Yeah. And he said the um the gifting. I don't I don't pretty much don't want to classify it too much on here because of whatever reasons, but the gifting is. Yes. Really strong at you in you beyond what I've seen in my life. Yes, I said mm, okay. So and invertly, I became instead of becoming the son, I became the teacher. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's why we're in their lives too to teach them. It's not a one way, you mm -hmm. know. And um, here's the thing, bro. When I had my first son, right, I named him Osiris, mm. which is what people who don't understand spirituality, they say, well, that's the God of the dead. So my father said, because he was still really heavy in the church at the time. So he came to me, he said, Warren. I said, yes. He said, why would you name your son after the God of the dead? He said, you think he was being slick? He said, but I got on that internet and I looked up Osiris. I said, I heard that before. He said, why would you name your son after the God of the dead? I said, dad, doesn't the Bible say to be absent from the fathers to be present with the Lord? So what you're calling dead is ultimately your essential nature and your true self. This physical thing is what got you, you know, messed up in the game. You think this is real? So you just don't have an understanding. I'm going to just say this. It's the white man that told us that what was Egyptian was pagan. They're the ones that's pagan. They're the ones that lack true spirituality because they ain't understand the shit. You see what I'm saying? They didn't understand that they weren't talking about multiple gods. They were talking about various aspects there of it is. God. Like in Islam, they call it the 99 attributes of Allah. Mm -hmm. No one attribute is Allah, but it's an, it's an, it is an attribute of Allah, but that attribute is not Allah, but it's an aspect of it. You see what I'm saying? And so that's what we're trying to understand is that um, that the spiritual path requires you to fly out of the cage of religion. Mm -hmm. As long as you stay in that religion, the bird is still in the cage. Come on. But you're calling it freedom. <laughs> Okay. Oh, they ain't ready for this. So check this out. Guess what happened? Okay. Before my dad made the transition, because I was always, not always, but for a long time, I was into this mysticism type stuff. My father came over to visit one day. And he said, Warren, he said, have you ever heard of Dr. Ray Hagen? And I said, <laughs> I said, yeah, I've heard of Dr. Ray Hagen. And I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. He said, I was listening to him talk about what it really means when it talks about Jesus and Jesus walking on water and the 12 disciples. 
And what does it mean that Jesus of Nazareth? What is that? And what is this? And so he learned that this birthplace of what we call Osiris stated that the first Christ is actually the S-U-N. My father said this to me. Wow. He said this to me. The same one that was fun that I was like dabbling in some deep evil metaphysical stuff by calling my son Osiris. Right. Mm -hmm. Came to me and said, I realize it now. Mm. Mm -hmm. That this whole story was dealing with higher metaphysical and esoteric knowledge. My dad said this to me. Guess what else he said? Come on. My mother was in the kitchen. We was in the living room. My father said, I'm not going to tell your mother about this, though. We'll still keep going to church and we'll still keep. But I, now I know the truth. My father figured it out before he made his own transition. Thanks. See? Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. What, what church your father go to? Because I think they're going to, they go to church over there by... Um... <laughs> I can't think of where it is. I'm looking right at it. Is it off of 93rd? Yeah, uh, what, Torbison? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, Good Shepherd. Yeah, Good Shepherd. Yeah, good, yeah. I'm thinking about another church. Okay, I thought you yeah, were. No, yeah, yeah. We, we, we grew up in, um, in Good Shepherd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Hawkins. Yep, D D Pastor Hawkins. And so... Um, it was just an interesting, interesting dynamic. It was an interesting dynamic. Um, let me say this. Just, just a seed. I just want to drop it and leave it. Every 2,160 years, the world changes. Mm -mm, come on. Every 2,160 years, the world changes. When Christ was born, Right, he was born. We know over two thousand years ago, mm -hmm. and he he ushered in a time that we now know of as Pisces. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why we call him the what? Fisherman of men. That's why when they said, "Well, I need to pay my taxes," he told them, "Go fish," and you'll find the coins. In the fish's mouth, and you pay the taxes with the you you see all these references to fishing, right? Because it's talking about a different time in history. What comes after Pisces is Aquarius, in terms of every 2160 years, it changes from one sign to another. Come on, okay. Pastor Hawkins was preaching one day, which proves that a lot of these top preachers know other stuff. And he was preaching, I never forgot it. He said, when Jesus was born, these came directly out of Pastor Hawkins' mouth. He Come said, on. he ushered in a different time in history. Mm -hmm. And then he said, every 2,000 or so years, the world changes. And that's all he said. He put it that way and he left it that way. What was he really talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, just saying. Just I saying. heard him say it. I was a deacon, so I heard him say it. I was pretty, <laughs> I was pretty close to him. I was right up there on the podium. But I'm just saying. That is science. And uh, the problem with religion is a lot of times it tries to get us to renounce science. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not talking about people who use science to try to be God or disprove God. You see, because one of the things that Pastor Hawkins said was um, he said, one of the things that bewilders scientists is that when the body dies, when you take your last breath, it loses a pound. 
So he was saying, what is it losing? Or what is it that's leaving it? I'm just saying. Just but, saying. You know, but that's the words, the thing the, Go ahead. In the words of the prophet Hargo, we're just talking. We're just talking. We're just, we're just talking. chopping it up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but ultimately, when we're talking about being alone, you're talking about tapping in to the what is esoterically called the divine white flame. That's what it's called. Mm. 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 It's called the divine white flame. So let's go back to the scriptures. Moses was before a burning what? Bush. The bush was on fire, but the physical bush was not consumed. Come on. There's a part of a flame that burns but it doesn't consume physical matter. It is the white part of a flame that doesn't burn physical matter. So when it said that Moses was before the burning bush, he was before the divine white flame inside of his physical body that doesn't consume it. The soul is what it was talking about. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important to tap in to your inner self through alone time. Because that's what you're tapping into. So what is it that was telling me it's time for you to go to D.C.? Come on. My divine white flame. That's what was telling me it's time for you to go to D.C. I said, okay. And when, and when you tapped into the divine white flame, Hmm. And it didn't consume you. Right. It actually became a lamp until your feet. Come on. <laughs> to where you go, need to go next. Come on, man. Don't, 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 you know, we church, we come from the church. Scripture's going to come out like this, dude. That's, just, That's right. It's going to come and out. A, hey, and a light unto your what? Path. Dude, I mean, let me get my sign in. Come on, Red Pill. You can't make this up. <laughs> yep. That's what it did. So we have to learn to trust our inner self. Even in the light. Because sometimes your inner self... I'm going I'm to give you another example. There were times where I was working at a job. And... The times that were the most enjoyable for me in life was whenever I quit a job. When I was walking out of that building, I felt the most free when I was like, deuces. Those are the moments in my life that I felt the most free. Here's the other thing that's interesting. Those were the moments that was the most frustrating to my father. Oh, to your natural father, right? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Why that boy don't that boy don't want to keep a job? That boy don't want to work. What's wrong with that boy? You see, see, so what I'm saying is my path was a different path. See, when my father came up, he came up during what was known as the industrial age. Come on. <laughs> What my father didn't know was that I was born at the end of the industrial age, but the beginning of the information age. We're sitting at a machine and working until you retire is play. I worked in, I live in the information age. So what do I have? I got a bunch of information products. And my whole life was preparing me for the information age, you see. But I had to trust the process. And there's a time that I remember <laughs> that sticks out to me about my dad. Mm -hmm. My grandmother's sister died 
and they lived in Baltimore. So my grandmother stayed in Cleveland. We got in my dad's car and we, we drove to the funeral. On the way, we probably stopped in like Breezewood or something like that. You know, one of them rest stops. Correct. And, and I'll never forget, I got out of the car and you could either walk up the ramp to the door or you could walk around around the ramp and come up the steps on the other side, but it led to the same door. So for no reason, I left my mother, my father, and my grandmother, and I walked around the ramp, away from them, and I ended up at the door just before they got there because I came up the steps, and I opened the door and let them all in. <laughs> Guess what my dad said as, the, as he entered? What did he say? He said, Warren always did walk to the beat of a different drummer. <laughs> <laughs> that was that ain't the truth. That is the truth. That's the truth. And All, he said, always. Yeah, I always did. So, um, but being true to myself, you know, and sometimes people ask me stuff like, well, how do you know this stuff? And in a, in a lot of ways, I just feel like like the key maker in the Matrix. The key maker in the Matrix, Neo said, how do you know all of this stuff? And he said, it's my purpose to know it. <laughs> <laughs> it I was just it. my purpose to know, you know? And, um, you know, and, and certain keys, like, like uh, Martin Luther King say, I might not be the one to use them. I'm just the one to pass it on. See? See? And that's that's our purpose. That's, man, that's good, man. That is good. So I want everybody in the chat room, this has resonated, the question I always ask, if this has resonated with you, let me know in the chat room. If you got, you got something from it, I don't want to overextend our guest right here in the thinking class. This is a uh, friend I've been knowing since we were in mean, elementary school, elementary school, which yeah. is most is, is most a rock craziest thing to run run into each other back again on YouTube. On YouTube, if this, if this conversation has definitely helped you, let me know in the chat room. You need to let us know, and also too, we need to see some super chat, some cash apps. Come on, y'all need to y'all need to y'all need to show some love to what's being shared here today because the platform has been laid out, the words have been given. We're telling you the pimp's number one rule, golden rule, is the ability to be by himself. Be by himself. Absolutely. No matter That's what. Right. Be That's by right. Himself. Exactly. Because, and also, um, the highest level of knowledge historically has always been sought by men. You had priestesses in Kemet. But it was mostly priests. And the priests and the priestess were higher than the than the Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. So that's where they went to make sure that they was making the right decision or making the right moves. You see. And so um as men, um, if I just the, the, the conversation that I had just had with uh my consult consult before we talked, um he was saying that there are a lot of women that he might be interested in that, mm -hmm. are, that are superior to him. Mm -mm. And I said to him, I asked him, I said, what makes them superior to you? Uh -oh. And he said, well, they, they might make six figures. They might be more educated. And I said, bro, I said, you got to understand that what you have for a woman, a hoe will give up her money for from a pen. Slow. Oh, hold up, man. We're going to chop. This video is going to have to be chopped up so much. Stop right there. Let me put my hands up so I can indicate what I knew, what you about to say. So I know to chop it here and go back. Say that again, because I'm trying to look for your um, cash app. Yeah, I told them, I said. I told him, I said, what you have for a woman is so important that a whole will give her money to a pimp in exchange for it. And what that is, is 
your light. It's your attention. It's your affection. It's your love. And it's your knowledge. Your, your light is more important than her vagina. And it's more important than her mouth. Come on. So all you got to do as a man, right, is build yourself up in terms of knowledge and, and in terms of understanding. So it ain't the fancy cars? No, it's not the jewelry. You know what I'm saying? It's or not the, the bling. It ain't, it's, it's, not, it's not the bling. It's, it's your light. That's your most important gift to a woman, is your light. See? And that's what I told him. I said, you got to work on developing your knowledge. And there's something else I told him. I said, the pimps back in the day, their conversations with each other was like this. Hey, man, what you read? Man, you know, back in the day, they'd be like, well, man, I just picked up uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I said, oh, well, have you ever heard of uh, 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 Earl Nightingale? No, who is this? Okay, well, Earl Nightingale, he did, he came out with this, this, and this, something called The Strangest Secret. Well, I ain't never heard of that. Well, what's this and this and that? So they talked about knowledge. You I see? And, and that's the key. And, and, and that's also the key to why your employees or your hoes or your children or whatever, that's one of the secrets to why they'll be able to excel in life. It's the knowledge that you give. It's the wisdom that you impart to them. And that's why you got to be well read. And I told him, all you got to do, bro, is brush up on your knowledge. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, a woman could tell me, okay, I make 100000 a year. Okay, so then I can say, okay, let me go in my pocket real quick and let me trump your hundred thousand. Mm. This is 24 karat Canadian maple leaf investment gold. You have billfold money. And on the note, it says this note is legal tender for all debts, public and private. Boo, this is God's money. <laughs> how much how much do you own you see what I'm saying so I'm saying I'm gonna always have something else to drop on you that right. you ain't even think about before see that's why my light is worth even her money because it's the knowledge it's the game you see what I'm saying and um, all of that kind of stuff it's 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 it's, it's you know, it's it's like I can't tell you how many women I've met here in the DMV that didn't even know what their sexual imprint. They didn't even know what it is. Sexual imprint. What's sexual imprint? And I'm like, it's the first three men that you ever had sex with. Were they developed men? Because if they're not, that's why you have problems in your relationship. Because your womb is attached to and attracted to young, undeveloped niggas. Mm. So in order for you to be prepared for a man like me, you're going to have to get up on that table and I'm going to have to do some table tantric work to heal your wound. How many niggas you know talking like that? <laughs> I know how to do it. See, they ain't ready for that. See, the average nigga want to fuck. Me, I want to heal. Mm. See what I'm saying? And that's the difference. Is what right. I'm saying is, is that it's about knowledge. It's right. not about it's not about money. It's not about a car. It's about knowledge. Come and get this game. You know, remember um Pimp Snooky mm -hmm. and um Pimps Up Hoes Down. He said, he said one of my bitches, he said they, they act like they want to explore. He said, you ain't got to explore. He said, bitch, explore another level of this game. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So what I'm saying is I'm, I'm, I'm translating that to knowledge. 
Correct. Explore another another level of this game I got for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you how to um to elevate your financial position. Let me show you how to become someone who attracts to you what you actually want, rather than the things that you complain about all the time. Correct. You see what I'm saying? Let me show you how to stop um dwelling in a poverty consciousness. You see what I'm saying? So it's a lot, it's, it's game. Game everywhere. It's game. And, and here's the thing. I'm from Cleveland. Right? Well, I'm the exactly. I'm the proof that game travels. <laughs> game travels, baby. That's right. Right? What's my next destination? Well, stay tuned. But game travels. You see, cross so, country. You said what? Cross country. Cross country, right? International. International. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you know, it is what it is. And that's interesting because what happens is, the woman actually feeds off of the light from the man, from the man. But if the man's light is not strong enough. She will find another. Yes. Yes. And in fact, she'll she'll put your light out and move on. <laughs> hey, you know, you, you ever seen the movies where it'd be a candle going? Yeah. And then a person that lick their two fingers and then and then put it out. That's yeah. what she'll do to you. You're mm. supposed to be leading her. I don't mm. ever want to hear a man say to a woman that's fine that walks past them, hey, mom, hey, can I go with you? Go with her where? You're supposed to be leading her. Come on. Right? Yeah. So, and see, the, 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 the superior man, ultimately, man, what we're talking about is the difference between an average man. See, Kevin Samuels talks a lot about the high-level man. But see, I done upgraded him. We ain't talking high level, baby. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about superior man. And the superior man is the man who knows how to be by himself and go within himself to get knowledge on all things. That Come. is the superior man. Not a, not, not a degree, not how much money you make. And not how long you've been making. Have you been making a hundred thousand for at least five years? That's cool. I ain't got no problem with Kevin Samuels. I like Kevin Samuels. Shout out to Kevin. He's another fellow Pisces. And a Kappa. Shout out to you, okay. brother. Yes, but so I don't have no problem with him. I'm just trying to upgrade you. Yeah, you know I'm talking about the superior man taps into infinite intelligence. And that's so that means that means I could take her hundred thousand and turn it into a million. Mm. Let's go. That that's yeah. that's that's I think that's the key right there. So with the high value man was is and I'm gonna make sure we get this clearly because is <clears throat> what we don't what we do here we celebrate every every content creator. So yeah. the, with the, with the high level with the high value man, which Kevin brought the conversation to the table. That's awesome. He brought the conversation to the table because it was not there. The That's pimp right. guy is saying now, I want to get you from the high, high, high value man to the superior man where you tap to what we've been talking about since day one on this channel. You must go within or do without. Yes. That's yes. real game. That's real game. <laughs> because when people come to me in consultation, I can be in my ego. Yeah, young blood, you know what I'm saying? Because see, here's the thing you got to understand, you know what I'm saying? See, you got to break these holes, you know what I'm saying? You got to put these holes in check, you know? I can talk that old, what you know, daddy conversation. Instead, I'm going to listen. Not to you, but to my inner self. And when I feel led to, then I'll impart to you. But I'm going to tell you something. In mm -hmm. my consultations, 
It's two people that's learning. <laughs> it's the person that called me and it's me because I'm <laughs> listening to what the hell is coming through me too. <laughs> Come on. I don't even know what I'm going to say. Come on. A lot of times I say stuff I never said before. Right. I'm just I'm I'm in my passive principle. And you, know. you begin to, you begin to tap into, like you said, the infinite wisdom. There's the infinite universal wisdom that's there that could normally be tapped in with the the limitedness of your consciousness. Exactly. And by the way, it's two eleven right now. Uh oh, there it is. It's two eleven right now. You just, just put the number out there. You know what that means. It just changed, but that represents higher consciousness. What did I say? We went from Pisces to Aquarius. So in this age, you're going to see 11 a lot. I just happened to look at the time while you was talking, and it was 211. It's 212 now, but I'm just saying. 211 is the number for the day. 211, baby. Oh, yes. 211. So if you're listening to this replay, you need to put 211 in the, <clears throat> in the comments. And you need to tap into this 211. Shout out to True Savage because he did give that. Let me let me make sure I get I knowledge this uh, super chat that he gave. Shout out to you. Mastering solitude is a major key to unlocking your self understanding uh, misconceptions. The key to yourself does not. Um, the key to yourself doesn't just open doors for you. It opens doors for others. Shout out to you, True Savage, for dropping that 20 bone. He been. True Savage been giving, man, because he understands the principle when you give, he's not just giving here, he's giving back to himself. And he says, I acknowledge what I'm hearing is a price tag on it. Shout out to yeah. True Savage. That's right. That's the key. That's key. That's real game right there. Mm -hmm. And see, as a man, you got to have the ability to rely not just on your logic. Mm. You got to be able to tap into your inner self. Because sometimes it'll just cause for a different level of understanding, something that you wouldn't have come up with. You know, so you have to be able to be by yourself. You got to be able to be by yourself. And here's the other thing that's that why that's important. In the pimp game, the phrase is hoes come going. <laughs> Slow that down. Say that again while I look this angel number up. <laughs> yes. Holes come going. Mm. They come into your life leaving. So a man has to be able to be by himself because even if he got eight holes, tomorrow he might have none. But what you always have is yourself. And what you always have is your true bottom bitch anyway, which is your inner feminine. So I don't need you. Let, let Biden and Harris feed you. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? I'm counting on my inner guy. Mm. And that's where I'm even, even the direction that I give a woman is coming from that at mm. the highest level. Mm. Yep. See, that's what I'm talking. They they come leaving. They come leaving. So that that leaves that if you understand that principle, that means <clears throat> you understand that principle that lets you know you never come attached. No, no. Your true bottom bitch is your inner feminine. Mm. And there was a time where um it's so funny, man. When I used to be in Cleveland, I used to wear a wedding band on my wedding finger. I wasn't married. I never was married. I never was engaged. Yeah. But um, I used to wear the wedding band on my wedding finger because the phrase at the time, it was ego. What I learned later is that it's spiritual. Mm -hmm. At the time, I wore the wedding band on my wedding finger because I said, I'm married to the game. I'm married to the game, not to any female, but to the game. Later, when I learned about the hero's journey on a spiritual level, I learned that there's something known as the inner marriage. Come on. 
And your inner marriage is where your masculine gets married to your inner feminine. So I'm always married, whether you're in my life or not, whether you're sucking me off or sucking somebody else off. I'm always in tune to my inner feminine. You see? And my inner feminine is not like a woman. Your inner feminine is not a hoe that comes going. Mm -hmm. Your inner feminine is always in your corner. She always believes in you. She always trusts you. You see what I'm saying? She she believes in you and 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 uh, like a woman, a woman could fall out of love. Your inner feminine never falls out of love. Never it is love. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, a man ain't made by no female, right? He's if he's in tune to himself. I can drop your ass off at the train station and start over. I broke up with a chick one time. Mm -hmm. I was uh, managing her money because that's what I do. And bless her heart. So we broke up and I had about $1,200 of her money. When I, when I first got with her, she had no savings. Okay. I was with her for 10 months. I said... I'm going to manage your money for you. She said, okay. So I started managing her money for her. In about 10 months, I had about $1,200 of her money. Her money saved. Okay? She had no savings when I met her. We broke up one day. So she said, well, I'm, I'm leaving and I'm listening. I'm like, and I'm like, okay, cool. So she leaves out and she's walking down the street. Right? But her $1,200 was still in my drawer. <laughs> so the pimp in me was like, shit, let me, let me, let me, let me pop this collar for her one time. Bam. I'm going to show her that I mean this shit and that I'm not playing with you. So I hurried up and got dressed. And I went in that drawer and I got all of her money. And I ran up the street and I caught up to her ass. And I grabbed her hand and I put the whole knot in her hand and I turned around and walked away. Mm. Since hoes coming, let me make sure that you don't come no more. Keep it moving. You mm. don't even got no reason to call me no more. You got your money. Keep it moving. I'm serious about this here breakup since that's what you said you wanted to do. Mm. About 40 minutes later, I got a knock at the door and it was her. See what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying is that sometimes your inner anima will give you the coldest pimp move that you would never be able to come up with on your own. That's true. Yeah. And I follow that. That's and that's, that's it's something that I say on here on the thinking class. The biggest game that you play is not with others, but what you play on yourself. Yes. It's, yes. It's, when you understand it, the get the game is played with you, and everyone just happen to ref have to. Everyone goes out there and either enjoy it, or they're disgusted by it. Playing yeah. itself. Exactly. Shout out to shout out to Al Davis. Long long live, long live the game. Guidance above my ego. Come on, shout yes. out to you, brother. Thank you, Ali Lewis. Thank you. Y'all need to now. We need everybody now. Y'all now. These people giving spor sporadically. This game we didn't went past the time. <laughs> past the time. Two Cleveland brothers, was, as my dude Avi would say, some some um, Midwest game being ki kicking right now. We need y'all. Yeah. Y'all want us here? Y'all need to sow that seed and put it in there so it because the seed is not going to meet the need. It's here to get you to the next level. You need to get this. Right. If you get the game, y'all need to even somebody they understand when you see that y'all seen the number he gave tw uh, two one one. You need to get two dollars and eleven cent, twenty dollars yeah. and eleven cent, two hundred dollars yeah. and eleven cent. Whatever yeah. you got to get that combination with that what two one one in it because when you're doing you resonating what we're talking about and the angel with that number is trying to get something to you. You need gotcha. to you need to steal this. With with your with that dollar sign, because yep. the game is just too rich. I'm about to go back. I got you. You put me to work this weekend now. 
to go back and chop all this up yeah. and figure it out how to do all this. In fact, whenever you see 11, um, that's when you should make your, uh, uh, your affirmation, your positive mm. affirmation, mm -hmm. whatever they may be. The, the, the affirmations that you may say, the best time to say it is whenever you see 11 show up, mm -hmm. you get, you order your food. You look at the order number. It might be 211 or it might be 11 or it might be, you know, uh, two numbers that equal 11. Right. Or three mm -hmm. numbers that equal 11. Whenever you see 11 show up, then say an, a positive affirmation. To communicate to the universe that you that you mm. yes this is your opportunity yeah yeah because she is basically she hot and she ready to be you know taken advantage of her, you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i'm saying so th huh. that's when that's when you that's when you you know you you put your bid in right you let th th so i'm I'm, just, I'm just, let me say it another way let me say it like this one prophetess used to say, say it another way, prophetess. So just how she was saying, she said, so she wouldn't say this, but this is what I'm saying here. You need to let your testicles testify and fully erect when it's a, when you see 11, 11. Yeah. So that you can <clears throat> and allow the seed of your desires wants to be manifested when that 11 11 shows up let me say that again you need to let the testicles testaments of your testicles testify in full erection when you see 11 11 so you can get full what manifestation of what you want desire in your life that's right yeah we <laughs> have these opportunities to um communicate to the universe another good time to do it is between the hours of 3.20 a.m. and 3.40 a.m. Mm. That 20-minute period is a good time to communicate through thought, mood, and feeling what it is that you want to achieve. Mm. Just for 20 minutes. Mm. You can set your clock, get up, look at your, your, your definite chief aim, your goal that you want to reach, tap into how it would feel if you had achieved it already. Because Jesus gave us a clue, according to the scriptures. He said, whenever you pray, believe you have received it. And when you have it. That's past tense. That's like you already have it. Mm -hmm. Believe you have received it. How do you communicate that to the universe? The way that you feel. Tap into how it feels to already have it. And between 3.20 a.m. and 3.40 a.m., look at that image. And, and and just practice feeling that for that 20 minutes. Mm. Dog, see this, this dude, this is too much, man. This this is a master class all in one. This is you ain't got you ain't got a long time, you ain't got pimp side, and now you got manifested manifestation side all in one time. You guys mm -hmm. really please tap into what, what we're talking about right here. Yes. Yeah, between mm. that time frame, you set your alarm clock. And uh, just for 20 minutes a day, <clears throat> that's how you communicate to the universe. And this is so <clears throat> with that being said, because I don't want to know what your time looking at. And we got 46 people watching. We got all the likes up. Make sure you like and share this. This is so much. You need to go back and digest it. I'm going to take time this weekend and not go get me no jerk chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it actually <laughs> Chop this video up. This was so much in this. I don't. I, I think we didn't. They didn't went to the buff. They didn't went to the pimp bu buffet at the pimp university, on pimp class five eleven. Yay! And got feel right now. This is a lot of information because we're in the information age. Yes. And if you don't get it, it is your own as fault that's right that's right that's right so we got to take advantage of those of those tools man's role is to become master of the earth and master of the laws that govern creation and so when you make use of the proper times to do certain things right then you're proving that you deserve to be in the position that you want 
You see? Mm. And so like Jim Rohn said, if you don't plant in the spring of your life, mm -hmm. see that 320 to 340 represents spring. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be planting something in the spring. Why? So that you can have harvest in the fall. And that's the key. Plant in the spring so you can have harvest in the fall. Mm. Then, like Mary Mary said, people are going to say, you know, what is it? Why is it? What, you know, what's going on? And it's, it's the God in you. You're tapped into. To the God. Yes. That's what, that's what it is. And the, what the funny part about that song is that that also is talking about your time alone. <laughs> right. Because they said what you don't know is that I hit the flow when I'm by myself. You see, and that's what they're saying is that it's about tapping into the God within you. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Like yep. Sigma Enigma says, be intentional. Wow. Yes. Absolutely. Be intentional. Absolutely. Be intentional. Right. That's key because that speaks to cause. Most people don't cause anything. They are caused. Mm. Things are bestowed upon them. Things that they want, things that they don't want. But when you start understanding science, right, and learning how to use science, right, then you become a cause. Mm. You causing things to happen rather than being caused. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see, and that's why that's so key and important. Yes, it is. Do you, we're going to close up, the, we're going to have to close the buffet. We're going to close the pimp buffet with the steak yes, filet beyond. <laughs> we got to close it up because, dude, you, you, if we, we'll be here to four o'clock. Yeah. And I would just say, hey, my battery about to go dead, bro. Let me plug this one in. <laughs> so I, I want to shout out to Warren B for being a special guest here at the thinking class. Go back and listen to this. I got to go back and listen to this and <clears throat> chop it up and bring it back out because it was so much that was said that if you don't go back and listen to it, you will miss something. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any? There you go. Look, look at this. Sir Ism, let me get this shout out to my dog. <laughs> Sir Ism, yeah. all the way from California. Salute yes. from the Macosphere. Game over everything. Come on, I can hear it. Him saying that. Game over everything. Did I say that? Did I mean to rhyme? I miss that's my dog. <laughs> Sir Ism. That's right. Sir Ism is a good game right there. This is important message must be put in action. I appreciate that. Don Coolio, all the way from London, came in England doing some game. Shout out to him. Yes, sir. Come on, the game. We international over here. Didn't you say that? That's right. Game travels. Games travel. Shoot, man. This, it, come on. You, you know what we about to do. You, if you hear this music, you know what that means. You know what that means? We about to close up the, the doors of the church is about to close up. Y'all better get that, get that, get that five, 10, 15, 20, get it in. Pimp God was here, dude, we got to do this again. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So we got to, so we, uh, we talk, no, we, uh, we can't tell what we was going to talk. We talked about doing, oh, I thought about that. But, <laughs> We miss August. You here in September, but we got some something we was going to do for the people. They ain't ready for it. <laughs> they ain't ready for what we what we got planned behind the scenes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I and I started working on it already. Oh my God! Look, see. Uh oh! Shout out from the family UK. Oh, that's what I'm, you hear the horns. Yes, UK in the house. Yes, beautiful. Shout out, Thank shout out, Sir Ism. Salute two players in the chat room. In the to the players in the chat room. You hear that? You know what that means? 
Uh oh, there it is. Fear so what the see this happens when this music come on, the money starts showing up. <laughs> Shout out to Fear So for that two dollars and eleven cent. He already tapped in. Yep. Yep. That's boss. That's what that's how you do it. When you t let me say that again, man. The number for the day, I didn't, I didn't even give the angel interpretation of 211. But 211 is the number. Y'all need to get this, get y'all need to, y'all need to go. Hey, if I went to a buffet that was serving filet mignon and the top choice meats and the best food that you can eat anywhere, I'm going to say, ah, let me lay this down right there. Right. That's right. And we understand. Warren B. Pimp God, we will do this again. We will chop oh, yeah. it. This, this is just, just you thought you thought this was good. What do you see? What's coming up next? Yeah, true. Anything yeah. products? Anything that you got going on? Let the people know. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff actually uh, jumping off. Um, go to Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. And fish around. You might find your boy got a store on me. Say that again. I got a store on Amazon.com. I never said it yet. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. We we can prepare. Okay. Um, okay. I got some products up. Uh, every other day I'm dropping some new stuff. But um, yeah, look up. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna send you the link. Maybe you could give it to folks because I don't I don't I forgot exactly what the link is. But um yeah I got I got it I got a, I got a, a store up on Amazon. Now we already know I got the app. Yeah. Um but then I got some other stuff popping too. So just in time I'm gonna just put that one out though. But um yeah I got products on Amazon. Okay. Under, okay. Un, un, under Pimp God. Oh, under Pimp so, God. Yeah. So so um. You know, so maybe fish around and see what you can find. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll and I'll make it official when when once I got about maybe ten or eleven products up, then I'll talk about it. But um, it's already up right now. It's live. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Pim God and Ism would be a flow. Yeah, well together. Yes, they would. So yeah, definitely, definitely, man. I appreciate you coming up here, man. You gave so much. I, I just gave to let you have the floor. Always welcome in the thinking class, what we're doing awesome. here. Thank because Thank we, we go back. <laughs> yes, we do. Duh. <laughs> Two elementary schools. Yeah. Hazeldale and Euclid Park. Hazeldale and Euclid Park. But don't forget Marcus Spellis. That's right. I went to I went to junior high at Marcus Spellis. That's right. So I was there too. And it's something, man. I remember, I, I always say this story. I remember going downtown and I seen you had this long trench black coat. You went, I like this dude before the Matrix, he was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what you trying to get, man? And I never forgot that, man. Yeah. So, uh oh, somebody sent a cash app right there. Appreciate that. Somebody sent $2.11. Shout out to you. That's awesome. Make sure you put Pimp God in there. We got shout out to everyone. We're about to close. Anything else you got? You got one more, one more jewel you want to give out. This the one more bone you want to throw out. We got 40 people watching. Okay. Um let's see. Basically, um, As men right now, we really need to focus more on that time alone and tapping into our inner self because the Bible talks about a transference of wealth from the righteous, from the unrighteous to the righteous. Mm. And right now we need to be getting prepared. You know what I'm saying? To receive uh, that wealth transference. It is transferring and a lot of things are happening behind the scenes that basically is saying that our time here, our sojourn in, uh, in the Americas and everything that has happened to us 
It's now about to culminate into wealth and power. Mm. And, I ain't ne- and I ain't even necessarily talking about reparations. We know they owe us that. But I'm talking about God saying, okay, my, my, you know, we, they were faithful through that trying time like Job. And now it's time to bless them with more than what they had before. Mm. But what we have to do is get ready. We got to prepare ourselves. Mm-hmm. And so right now we really need to be studied up. You know what I'm saying? Meditation, um, learning to be by ourselves, which means you might have to put the punani on the back burner. Because you got to learn how to tap into to that inner self. Because, you know, um, I'm going to say this, but I'm not going to get on details. A sign of what I'm saying happened as soon as Dr. E. Hall and Scott and I moved out here to type. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to go too much detail in it. But as soon as we moved, not too long after we moved, about $50 million was about to go through our hands. Mm. Mm. And that's all I'm going to say. But here's the key. We were in position. So get your business stuff together, get your accounts together, get everything together because you don't know how it's going to happen. But the wealth of the unrighteous is being stored up for us. Just make sure that you're ready to receive. Man, you all in my business. We had to talk offline on that one. That's okay. that's you, you all in my business with that. <laughs> Shout out to Sir Ism for dropping that 20 die that says, have a drink on me. Hey. That's right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do this right quick. Just serious, if you're still in the chat room, let me know you're still in the chat room because you know what? I I I don't normally do this, and I don't. You know, sir, is we got to hear your voice one time with Pimp God, just to just to get the teaser for the people. Sir, <laughs> Ism, get that link right there. This gonna be this gonna be epic right here. That's what's up. Sir, Ism, hit that link right there because I can see who come up. So anybody else. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna dismiss you because we got the this the good game right here. And shout out to you know what? Shout out to Puka Duke. Good game. Hold hold your head up. Yes. Hold your head up. Good game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sir Ism, Absolutely. hit that link right there, right quick, and hit that. I want you to hit that. Hit. See what you need to say, right quick. You got West Coast Mick. Mick. We got West Coast Midwest. And then you on the East Coast now. So, sir, and hit that link right quick. We're going to see this happen right quick. we make this happen right quick. Y'all want this to happen. Put that fire signs in the chat room. Tell sir, and hit that link. Tell him to pop up and put that, say his, say his line. That's right. Come on. But yes, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. And That's my right. God, I am the just because I'm justified by the Father, which is in within. That's right. That's Come on, right. sir. Is a, uh-oh. Wait a minute. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? Sir Ism is, we got Sir Ism, Pimpcott, and LDA. Come on. Boom. Sir yes, Ism, sir. are you there, sir? Your mic is hey, on. Hey, oh. What's going on, family? What's Fam, going what's on? Up, man? Hey, man. It's all good, man. You know what I mean? When I can be in the presence of the game, man. I'm hey. just out here enjoying the family. Came out here with my brother. You know, mm-hmm. hanging with my grandbaby and things right now, man. I'm going to get oh, back to man. work, man. It's always a pleasure to see some real live players, man. Respect to the work y'all brothers been putting in, man. Well, you know? appreciate you, appreciate it. Yes, sir. That's awesome. I just want to make sure I get that. I shout out to have Sir Ism, Pimp God, and LDA. I feel like it's a collabro may have to happen. But yeah. They have to pay for this game. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, let's put it together sometime, man. Anytime I'm ready, man, to keep the game flowing and teach these young brothers. You know, a lot of older guys are hard head, but it's never too late to make a comeback. You did. But a lot of these young guys really need, you know, some male, uh, masculine uh, man advisors. 
And that's why I look that's to you, right. brothers, as we all, you know, kings amongst kings, and we yeah. all have our specialty, and we learn from each other. So, you know, when it's time to take your notes, take your notes. And when it's time to perform, man, you know, I'm always ready in chili cold blood, man. You understand hey. me? That's right. Yeah, yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Tabernacle. You know. Tabernacle. Tabernacle. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's what I'm trying yeah. to just, you know, get these young brothers, man, more um, masculine role models. And it's not always the numbers, but it's how no. you touch people. You know, a lot of these young brothers, they got their analytics together. They got all the numbers and, you know, their figures, their credit score, but they don't got their manalytics together. You did. So we right. gonna marry the two. You take your analytics, right. your manalytics, you take your street game with your book game and you marry the two. And then I got a word that I made. It's called reverberation. It's that <laughs> rhythm and vibration. And when you put the rhythm in the vibration, it reverberates, man. And your whole life is just the rhythm of life. You did. That's right. <laughs> Right. That was my esoteric shit. I got that from you, hey. PG. I was trying to get esoteric on him, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. One love, baby. One love. I appreciate you coming up. Thank you for for putting that, putting that, put that down, putting that money down on it. I appreciate it. Shout out oh, to man. you. Please go out to support Pimp God's channel or your channel and his products. And my man right here, Suryism. I slide yeah, through. Yeah, he definitely <laughs> throw it. He throw it out there. He put it out there. So I, yeah, this is what I'm see, This this the part when you stay late. You know, in yeah. church, you stay late. You never know who may come up. That's mm -hmm, true. Mm -hmm. See, from he from church too, so you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh -oh. Yeah, man. I, uh oh, we see we keeping the game flowing now, man. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you yeah, go. man. That's my player partner. You know what I mean, Matt Nell. You did. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So I appreciate you letting me come up, man. And uh, I'll hit your email, and, and maybe we'll do something when I get back. If y'all had time, you know what I mean, and, and we'll mess around. And I've been going to uh. Brother, uh, brother, Dr. Scott, I don't want to his channel a few times and donated the last few times. So I'll be liking what he was saying. He's he's always, you know, trying to empower the brothers and give them something to look forward to. You know what I mean? Yeah. To take that street game and get around some players. And that's why I call it. I know you call you you, you call it pimping, you know, and, and I call it pimping. But to me, pimping is like the elevation and until you're macking. Now you're macking your whole situation. You dig what I'm saying? Right. So everybody had their own theory on, you know, the P, the pimping, the mac. It's all mind elevation and a man yeah. being at his best. You know Absolutely. what I mean? And, and and getting out the street life and getting into this, you know, mainstream world where you can leave a legacy. You did. That's right. Like, yeah, uh, man. Like, yeah. Yeah, like uh, what's the name said? Uh, Dame Dash. She said, I don't hustle for my first name. I hustle for my last name. Mm. Now. Yes. Yeah. 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 See, y'all yeah. try, try to come on. Yeah. Y'all giving, giving the, what they saying, that you know, after the service is over, that little, little, little time after the service. That's right. <laughs> yeah, That's right. man. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. We okay. definitely going to do something. Um, I'll, I'll coordinate it with Pimp God and Sir Ism. Yeah. That's going to be epic. Yes. Okay. Just let me know. Okay. So and to everybody right. that's listening, everybody that's watching, make sure you go back and rewatch this. They ain't know Sir Ism was going to come up. <laughs> right. I'm always in the clouds, man. I'll be checking y'all out, man. I'm always in the clouds. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, man. Salute, salute, fam. Salute, fam. One. All right. One. All right. That was dope, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. All right, man. We're gonna. I'm, I want to hold you and let the music riders out. And we. I hold on. Don't leave off. Or I'm gonna call you. I'll call you. I'll call you right afterwards. Okay, that'll work. All right. All right. One. One. Peace. Shout out to everybody. You just missed. You just had the coldest time. Shout out to Nelly dropping that 1999 inside of the game. Shout out to everyone that's been listening. This has been Lawrence Diaz, one of the longest shows we did. Tell me what you want, babe. With LDA. Look at what you got, babe. Pimp God, Warren B. Sir Ism. 
What if we brought Alfie into it? What if we brought, oh my God, we brought me. Come on. Shout out to everyone. Shout out to everyone. We out of here. Subscribe, like. This is the thinking class when spirituality and the game collide. You have the thinking class. And if you didn't get today, it is your own. We out of here. Peace. Don't forget it, cause I can give you a journey. I'll be your fantasy. I got you. Tell me what you want, babe. Then come get it. Tell me what you want, babe. Go get it. Man, don't forget it. Babe, and you'll get it. Man. Don't forget it, babe, and you'll get it, man. Don't forget it, babe, you'll get it, man. Don't forget it.
what you want, babe Look at what you got, babe Tell me what you want, babe And you'll get it Look at what you got, babe Don't forget it Tell me what you want, babe And you'll get it Look at what you got, babe Don't forget it Tell me what you want, babe And you'll get it Look at what you got, babe Don't forget it Cause I can give you what you need I'll be your fantasy I got you Tell me what you want, babe Then come get it Tell me what you want, babe You'll get it guys are still here put a fire sign in the chat room i see 31 people watching i see you i see you 28 people watching let me know you're still listening to this nice smooth sounds the thinking class pimp god serious came at the end i see you put some in the chat room to let me know that you're still listening you think i don't see you but i see you Let me know you're still there. Let me know you're still there. 29 people still watching and the show is over with. I see you. Loud and clear. If you missed it today, thank God, there was some information, some ism that was just right for you. Don't forget it. Tell me what you want, babe. And you'll get it. Look at what you got, babe. Don't forget it. Tell me what you want, babe. And you'll get it. Look at what you got, babe. Don't forget it, cause I can give you a journey, I'll be your fantasy, I got you, tell me what you want, babe, then come get it, tell me what you want, babe, go get it, man, don't forget it, babe, and you'll get it. Forget it, babe, and you'll get it, man. Don't forget it, babe. You'll get it, man. Don't forget it.
Okay. 
23 people are still here watching. Can you believe that? 24. Oh, uh, it didn't come through on you. You popped up on here, but it ain't. It ain't. No, nah, down the other side. Can you on the? I can came here on the other side. I can't hear you on your side. Let me jump off of this. Y'all still here? I cannot believe it. Let me put the music. That's crazy. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, now I can hear you. You can hear me now? Yep. Okay, cool. Can you believe this, Pip God? 24 people still watching here. Wow, man. That's crazy. Just that. That's still crazy, watching. Man. If you still watching, listening to the music, I got Pimp Gandhi right there. We just jumped on right quick. I was trying to get up. She had to switch clothes and everything. Right. Get out of here. <laughs> Dead ain't ready for this. Well, uh oh. <laughs> We're in the amazement, they said. Shout out to you, Trav, man. Yo. <laughs> I gotta get something to eat myself, man. 20, this something, man. People just sit here listening to the music and just like digesting what was said, man. Wow, man, that's that's amazing. You got anything, really one, you got one thing you can give away, then we gonna, I gotta know you gotta go. Sir, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> you got one thing you can give away while you eat your food. I know you gotta get that nourishment. Uh, Let's see. You know, every every audio book that I sell, I never price it based upon my logical self. Mm. Um, and the prices go from a thousand dollars down to six. Mm -hmm. And when I price it, I actually literally ask my anima what the price mm. should be mm. every time. Mm. And sometimes I'm shocked at what my inner self tells me, but I just trust it. Mm. And um, that just shows that in all important matters of our lives, our higher self is trying to guide us. Mm. And um, because in our logic, you know, it's things that we would do, it's things that we wouldn't do. But um, and that's that's also pimping in the sense that a pimp, like one of the phrases in pimping is keep a hoe in arrears. Mm, okay, okay. Which means keep her off her toes. Tell her something new. Tell her something confusing every now and then so that she'll never feel like she got your number. That she, she you know, she knows everything that you would or wouldn't do. Sometimes you got to just do something that she would never imagine. And when you're in tune to your inner anima, you know, what you might say to her, what you might do, it might be something completely out of character. But it, it also plays into the game itself. That's, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, in all important matters, man, trust that it's something else that I learned. Um, I had been waiting to hear from someone on the business side and I got got a little bit worried like man what's up you know what i'm saying this that and the third and the creator kept saying just be patient because normally in a normal case you'd be following up you know what i'm saying checking up again making sure that this and then i just said okay i'm gonna just wait sure enough yesterday he hit me up with an update on things and told me what was going on See? you know what i'm saying with the process but that patience is a virtue. Learning how to trust the process. That's really key. Yeah, because a lot of times in our mind, we got an idea of how stuff should go. Sometimes the right move is no move. Ooh, wow. That's good right there. Yep. Mm, that's good right there, man. Sometimes the right move is no move. Yep. 
Yeah, because that is a move because you're waiting for the right time. And you don't know what that is sometimes. You don't know. So that's why you got to trust yourself because there's a greater chess game being played. And that's the part that we have to trust. Yep. That's so true, man. I can't I can't explain because I'm in the process of um, looking for my truck. <clears throat> right. I'm going to look at one today. I already have a car, but I want a second car. Yes. So I said, you know what? Let me go look. I already got full of the feeling because I drive the, the exact, I drive the truck I want to drive at work. Ah, exactly. <laughs> So I got to do is I got full of the feeling yesterday by driving it. Now I got to do is what? Be patient and allow it to what? Happen. Exactly. And also, maybe not in your case, in this situation, but also recognize that doors closed don't mean no. Mm -hmm. A door closed don't necessarily mean no. It just means not now. Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. So we have to we have to learn how to tap into that too. Because sometimes there's a greater thing for you on the other side of what you 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 thought. Correct. And that's you key. Think, you thinking one thing when there's a greater greater always say this when you ask them for something or wanting something this or something better so you don't put a handcuff on god or the yes inner you or what can possibly show up in your life exactly and that's also why it's important to stay away from titles Woo. because in the lost books what they call the lost books of the bible jesus warned about titles stay away from titles because if you name yourself or you title yourself something, like people in the, in the church, they say, I'm a prophetess. Okay, that's word. I word, you know, hallelujah. That's, that's boss. But if you put a title on yourself and you identify with that, that title becomes your ceiling. Come on. So you might actually grow into that, but you won't grow past it. <laughs> oh, so we got to stay open to just flow i think flow is a and i got oh i just said this to dr e man we, we might do something on this but i, I want to i want to get this to you too okay, and to the okay. brothers listening okay stop focusing on women or trying to keep them happy or whatever the hell they talking about and instead, be like the old kings, the kings of old. You know what they focused on? Come on. Kingdoms. Come on. Mm. Focus on kingdoms. And, 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 and by that, I mean your greater purpose in life, your estate that you're building. And hustling for your last name so you can leave a legacy like Hilton Hotel Come or on. whatever it is, something that will continue on. Correct. Kings, kings focus on kingdoms. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. that's why, and that's why it's so important. The last name. I emphasize that to my sons. You are an Adams. Right. You represent me. But you represent yourself where the name well. Exactly. And, and and they have to define what that is in terms of, you know, because we're supposed to be passing that baton on. Right. So we, we have to make sure that they know how to to win the race and understand that that, that it's not it's 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 it's, it's a marathon. It's mm. a marathon. The race is a marathon. So pace yourself. Pace yourself. And it's yeah. funny because everybody in this day and age want to run a sprint. Exactly. No runs. Oh my God. China. Look, wait a minute. Why you do this? Look, look what just popped up in there. I got a, you can't see it, but look. 49.99. <laughs> my brothers. Whew. 
Wow. Hey, mommy. I love you. This is the after after party. Shout out to China White dropping the forty nine ninety nine. Wow, that's my baby right there. I love you, ma. Look at this. Look at this. We I called you back to say, hey, won't you come on? I'm about to eat my breakfast sandwich, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what's up. That's Show beautiful, up. man. Hey, you know what? When a woman handle business well, that made me want to put her on the team. I might have to steal you, China, from your dude. So just warn him, you dig? <laughs> <laughs> do you see yeah, that's thing, beautiful man? that that's that speak to my heart right there i love it i'm, I'm gonna leave that up china white shout out to you we did a we did a show about 2019 i think we did something i got it i need to chop it up and bring it back up because i dropped some stuff on me and her were talking yep that 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 live was amazing yeah man that's the baby right there that's yeah. beautiful look at that 49 night let me give a look <laughs> this uh, this is this is something special this the side on this side of youtube definitely definitely a journey come on y'all getting it now china white yes ah, you know i love you come on there it is look at that he said you you gotta go you got hours to go look back d you gotta go back and listen this is this is this is the this is the after flow glow yes actually hey this this the upper room upper room right yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, this is the upper room, man. They didn't, but you're right, man. Hustling that last name. Yeah, that's that's really the key. Is that long term game, and we need. That's why I said a king focuses on kingdoms. Mm. And so the the women in his life. Yes, I said women. Come on. Um, here's the thing: when I say women too, I am not talking about a bunch of vaginas. Uh oh. I'm talking about women that I'm responsible for. Stop right there. Come on, come on. Break that down right there. Yeah. So the key is every woman that I enter, the Bible says, and he knew her. So what really consummates a marriage is not a white man's license. What uh -oh. consummates a marriage is when I enter a woman. Mm. And I don't want to enter her if I'm not going to be responsible for her. The average man just want to bust and release. Mm -hmm. No, you're my responsibility. Mm. A I king thinks about kingdoms. So, mm. like, like somebody in the in the movie said one time, he said, "I like to own." the things that I use. So I'm not just interested in entering a woman. I want to be responsible. And with that responsibility, key. with that responsibility, that leads to what? It, re it leads to legacy. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because it comes back to the kingdom. That's, it, it actually comes back to the kingdom. Yep. I'm telling so, you, but the, that's good but, right the, there. but the thing that brothers have to remember, like Patrice O'Neill said, is king, queen, not queen, king. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I got to dip out on that one. I'm about to eat my sandwich before it get cold. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you for coming back through. Let me let the music ride out again. Let me try this again. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you for coming back through. Music All going. Right, family. <laughs> All right, we out, Pam. Tell me what you want, baby. Look at what you got, man. Tell me what you want, baby. Look at what you got, man. Tell me what you want, baby. And you'll get it. Look at what you got, man. Don't forget it. Tell me what you want, babe, and you'll get it. Look at what you got, babe. Don't forget it. Tell me what you want, babe, and you'll get it. Look at what you got, babe. Don't forget it, cause I can give you what you need. I'll be your fantasy. I got you. Tell me what you want, babe. 
Then come get it. Tell me what you want, baby. Go get it. Man, don't forget it. Babe, and you'll get it. Forget it. 
Tell me what you want, babe, and you'll get it. Look at what you got, man. Don't forget it, 'cause I can give you what you need. I'll be your fantasy. I got you. Tell me what you want, babe, then come get it. Tell me what you want, babe. You'll get it, man. Don't forget it. people watching y'all need to go home go on home now shout out to everybody that's still there watching vibing off the music i'm gonna let it ride out one more time and that's it we out of here i gotta go get some tell me what you want babe and you'll get it look at what you got man and then i'm gone Don't i gotta go get some tell me what you want babe and you'll get it Look at what you got, man. Fifteen Don't people listening it. to this song. Tell me what you want, babe. The show is over. And you got out of left and came back. Look at what you got, man. This is Don't amazing. Forget it, cause I can give you a journey. I'll be your fantasy. I got you. Tell me what you want, babe. Then come get it. Tell me what you want, babe. If you're still listening and watching, put a fire sign in the chat room. Let me know you're still there so I can close up this place. Put a fire sign in the chat room. If you are still listening, put a fire sign in the chat room. Let me know you're still there. Don't forget it. You're still listening, put a fire sign in the chat room. Don't forget it. Babe. Let me know you're still there. Wow, Fear Soul, you still there. Shout out to you, brother. This game was so epic today, it was too much. I had I can't even get back into the blue chair. It looked like the music play. I had to jump on my other mic. Cause it was so epic today. First, so you still there, man? This is amazing. 18 people watching. Three o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. 3:33. Well, ain't that something? 3:33. Let me put that in the chat room right quick. 3:33. In the afternoon, people are still watching, soaking up this game. Can you believe it? The thinking class. Shout out to everyone that came through. Thank you for the gifts. Appreciate it. 18 people watching. 3.30. If you're watching, put 3.33 in the chat room. Let me know you're still here. I got to order something to eat. I got to. Look at that, Fear So They still here vibing off of this. If you're listening, you're watching in the clouds, put 3.33 in the chat room. Tell me what you want, babe. 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 And you'll get it. Tell me what you got, babe. Don't forget it. Tell me what you want, babe. Three, three, three is the number. Sixteen people watching. You watching? You watching in the clouds? You listening? Don't forget three, three, three in the chat room. Tell me what you want, babe, and you'll get it. 
Look at what you got me Don't forget it Cause I can give you what you need I'll be your fantasy I got you Tell me what you want, babe Then come get it Shout Tell out to everybody want, still watching We about to end this Wow. The overall meaning of 333 is the angels are around you to remove all negativity in your mind and fill you with perfect love. Ain't that something? That's that's what I'm talking about for so that is amazing. That's amazing right there. The overall meaning of that 333 number is that the angels are all around you to remove all negativity in your mind and fill you with perfect love. Shout out to Fierce Soul for still being here. We got to close this shop up. 14 people still watching. I see you. You in the clouds vibing. Facebook, Instagram. Like, man, this guy has went for almost two hours. This song has really cost something. Well, first so we out of here, man. Fourteen people watching. Don't forget the thinking class, where spirituality and the game collides. You'll get it, man. Don't forget it. We out of here. It's the last run of this song. You'll get it, man. Don't forget it. watching you still watching here this is Lawrence D Adams when spirituality and the game collides you have the thinking class we gotta go we have to go I gotta go eat 18 people watching again what is going on what have we did what have we done rather what have we did what we've done this is amazing I'm gonna let it ride out something to eat. I'm going to have to order from Uber Eats just to get something to eat here. I'm going to jump to my other mic. And people are still here. Shout out to you.
said the music is soothing. That's what it is. That gotta be it. That it gotta be a try. song to slow dance with like, this would be a nice song to slow dance with a little hand dancer right here would be nice perfect you don't know nothing about that After dark story Don't with what we have to Leo. Look at what you got, man. 
Don't forget it, cause I can give you what you need. I'll be your fantasy, I got you. Tell me what you want, babe. Then come get it. Tell me what you want, babe. Go get it. Man, don't forget it. Babe, and you'll get it. Man, don't forget it. Babe, and you'll get it. Man, don't forget it. Babe, you'll get it. Man, don't forget it. Babe. Look at what you got, man. 
Don't forget it, cause I can give you a journey I'll be your fantasy, I got you Tell me what you want, babe Then come get it Tell me what you want, babe Go get it Man, don't forget it Forget. Okay. 